हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल संजीव जैन आज मैं आपके लिए एक बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो लेके आ रहा हूँ जो कि आपको हेल्प करेगी तीन सब्जेक्ट की अगर अगर आपने एवरेज निकालनी हो आउट ऑफ फाइव कैसे निकालेंगे आप तो उसके लिए आई एम यूजिंग अ प्लेटफॉर्म माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल सो आई एम गोइंग टू लॉन्च माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल जैसे कि आप देख पा रहे हैं After launching Microsoft Excel, what you have to do? First of all, you have to enter the data on which you want to work. Like I want to enter the data, like roll number, name of the student, marks obtained in five subjects that is English, Hindi, Mathematics, Science, Social Science. and at the end i want to calculate total and at last average i am putting over here out of best three subjects fine now side by side i am going to change the column width by selecting the heading heading a b c d just click on this cell column address and up to a to h select the column address and click on any grid line and drag you will see the equal margin will be allocated to each and every column now as row number is required more space just click and drag so that the row number can be shown over here and at last average is also required a space So I'm going to drag up to last. So after giving up appropriate column space, I'm going to enter the detail of the students like roll number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And here I'm going to enter the name of the students like uh, Yuvraj, Avik. नमन रोहित कपिश पवन आरती दिव्या भूमि एंड सचिन एंड Mass obtain. Now uh, here I am going to add something more along with the subject. The marks is out of eighty. So by clicking on particular cell address or a particular cell, and after that you can put the marks. Like I am clicking the cell and coming to the column and entering the marks over here. That means it is out of eighty. and you can also press f2 key if you want to change the value enter in a cell like i am going to enter total marks out of 80 for all the subjects and total will become it will out of 400 so total will be out of 400 after that here i am going to enter the marks out of 80 like suppose 67 and 77 similarly in hindi 78 65 79 80 67 56 in mathematics 80 in sciences 78 67 67 77 
68 and in social sciences 77 78 79 80 67 68 56 78 77 66 after entering the marks in all the five subjects now you want to calculate the total marks obtained by a student in all the subjects that is total so click on the cell on the total column and write the formula over here whenever you want to start the formula formula start with equal to sign and the formula to calculate the sum total that is sum the simple to write sum either in capital letter or small letter S start parenthesis followed by the array number number is required you can either write the number like 67 8 78 80 78 and 77 or you can select the array how can you select the array array is a collection of uh, cells in consecutive orders like c2 to g2 and close the parenthesis after closing the parenthesis put press enter key as soon as you press enter key you will see the sum total of all the five subjects will be displayed in a cell total then just observe this cell this cell containing a highlighted point over here this is called fill handle just click on this fill handle and drag where you want to apply the same formula i am going to drag till h11 and just leave the mouse pointer after selecting it you will see the sum total of all the subjects all the uh, students will be displayed over here now last thing is uh, which which is mean which is required you want to calculate the out of uh, five subjects uh, best three subject average so to calculate the average of best three out of five the formula is is equal to average start parenthesis and inside the average function i will put another function that is large now as soon as you will start the large function by using the round parenthesis you will see that two thing two parameters are required for the large function one is array and second is criteria array is uh, the range from where you want to find out the average of best 3 or best 2 or best 5 it's up depend upon the criteria so i am choosing the array by selecting the number from c2 to g2 after array comma is required as per this syntax put the comma over here and the criteria to calculate the best 3 or best 4 is to start the curly braces and put how many subjects you want to uh, like suppose you want to calculate the best 3 you will put first best marks and second best marks and third best marks so i am going to use 1 comma 2 comma 3 and close the curly braces and after that close the function bracket of large and function bracket of average as soon as you will close all the brackets and press enter key you will see the average of best three subject out of five as per the criteria will be displayed over here you can see 78.66 this is the average of three subject out of best five subjects now click on this fill handle and drag again on the cells you will see the average of all the 10 subjects will be displayed over here now if you want to round off uh, up to the zero decimal places you can click on this decrease decimal button click one once time two three four five reduce the decimal places as per your requirement you will see the average of a best three subject will be displayed in without decimal form after that if you want to align the text whatever is here you can select the range and you can come to this align button and under this we are having a middle align as well as a center align middle align is for the row and center align is for the column and if you want to uh, put the uh, border over here you can click on this border option 
and we are having a all border option over here click on this all border you will see the cells will be highlighted with the help of border and if you want to increase the width of the row just click on this <coughs> row address 1 to 11 and click on the grid line of the row address and drag the height will increase 22 26 you will see now the result will be visible to all and it is neat and clean so in this way you can calculate the average of best these subjects i hope you like this video please subscribe my channel and very soon i will come with a new video with a new formula thank you